Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, in the analysis of this channel. Now, Meguna Meguna has come out very elaborate in terms of possibilities of the nullification of these elections. And what Meguna Meguna has said, he has said two main things. And I want us to read at what Meguna Meguna has wrote in his Twitter handle, then we continue at that point. But before, of course, we read what Meguna Meguna is saying, please do me a favor. If you are a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, please just do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Now, let us go to the main business. Now, this is what Meguna Meguna is saying towards the possibility of the nullifications of this election. And he has said two main things. Now, let us read. If the Supreme Court nullifies the elections of William Ruto, in bracket, I don't think they will. That is according to him. Fresh elections must be held in 60 days by Chebukati and the IEBC. Conman Raila Udinga will get less than 40% in a fresh election otherwise. William Ruto will be sworn in this September. Ladies and gentlemen, as I was just looking at the reactions and the opinions of the, 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 the citizens, I've asked some about 10 people and what they told me, including certain supporters of Kenya Kwanza and certain supporters of Azimio, they told me that there is a possibility of nullification and that nullification stand as at 60 to 40. Then nullification stands at 60%, uh, upholding William Samaruto's victory at 40%. That is what I received from different people as I was just asking them this, uh, this evening. Now, let us go back to what Meguna Meguna is saying. Perhaps when I recall what Meguna Meguna is saying in this tweet, is that there is a possibility of nullification of this election. And of course, this is very elaborate in terms of maybe, as Meguna Meguna also was so closely following the proceedings in the Supreme Court, is just telling us his opinion likewise that there is a possibility of this, and there's a possibility of this. Then, if there's a possibility of this, then what happened? Then if it is a possibility of this, what happens? Now, this is what Miguna is saying if there is a possibility of nullification of the election. But in just that a way of just keeping faith and having just a little bit of certain percentage, He's saying that he don't think if this election will be nullified, but if he was 100% sure, he could have stated that he is 100% sure, of course, with this nullification of election. He's saying, in case of nullification of this election, elections must be held within that 16, 60 days, that is two months, days by Wafula of Chebukati and the IEPC. Then, furthermore, he's continuing to say, Conman Raila Odinga will get less than 40% in a fresh election. Then I want to ask a simple question. What if this suggestion of Miguna Miguna towards saying that if this nullification is going to be uh, having a possibility that Wafula Chebukwati is still the person that is going to conduct this election and the IEBC. 
what in case Raila Odinga and the Azimio Brigades came out, uh, sorry, are going to come out to dispute the presence of Wafula Chibukati and other commissioners in the IEBC. Are you seeing that possibility also? Is there any possibility? This is about possibility. We are not saying that this is going to happen. This is a possibility. Are you seeing that Raila Odinga is going to protest against the uh, presence of Wafula Chibukati and, of course, the IEBC? Yes? And if, in case, this is going to happen, what next? It means there must be a new reconstituted IEBC commissioners, which, according to me, it will not take I think less than two years. That is according to my opinion. At least not more than two years. Then this is going to give Uhuru Kenyatta another two years in the office. While the IBC commission is being reconstituted. And that is what I'm seeing likely perhaps when I weigh the opinion of um, of Meguna Mugwena, yes, the navigation might, might be happening, be, might happen, but that emphasis that is putting that fresh election must be held. I don't think, I don't know, I don't want to say something that I know, I don't know, because I don't see if Wafula Chibukati has conducted almost two elections, 2017 and now 2022, is going to be not possibly making a way out of free and fair election. Then number two, Meguna Mugina is confirming that if these elections is not going to be nullified, then of course William Samurtu is going to be sworn in this September. The date that will be announced. So it means that court, court could have, uh, court is going, maybe could have decided that the elections were free and fair and the constitutional threshold was meant was met in terms of what was required that is according to the argument of Meguna Meguna and then is arguing saying that he's ready to go come back to the Republic of Kenya as long as William Samrut is going to be sworn in ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise I want to rest my case. If you're a visitor, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Till we meet on another video.